here and in today's YouTube video because this seems to be all I do right now. We are going to be unboxing another bean. Now, this girl is actually from Peter Stone's Moonlight Madness event. And if you don't know what Moonlight Madness is, it's one of the most amazing events of the year. <laughs> it's Peter Stone's Halloween event and they have it on Halloween every year. I think this is maybe year three of me participating. I got Smashing Pumpkins the first time. I ended up selling him just because I wasn't a huge fan of his color. But if you remember last year, I got Boo the Irish Draught who is literally in my top 10 now. He is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with that bee. So this year they actually released a really, really cute bunny named Bloody Mary. And that is who I got, obviously, because Bunny Squad going strong. We're about to take up three shelves with Bunny Squad. I have a problem, but that's okay. The first step is acknowledging. All right, so without any further ado, y'all, I'm literally so excited for this girl. Let's dive in. I think she had like to be finished up or something. She got shipped out a little bit later than the others, which is perfectly fine because I still don't know where she's gonna stand on my shelves. Alvin! <laughs> But it's fine. I do have another bunny that I am waiting on, which is the Loyalty Club one. Now, I'm not in the Loyalty Club. I'm going to join this year, though, or next year, whenever they open it. I'm going to join. But I ordered her from somebody, so as soon as that girl makes it to that person, then that person's going to ship her to me, and it's like a whole thing. But, y'all, why is the bunny mold my weakness? All right, so here's the inside of the box. They changed their order receipt. I enjoy that they show a little picture of them, and now they say thank you for shopping with us, which I love. Find her. <laughs> she's really just taking them all with her. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so cool. She is in her bubble wrap. Got her little tag right here, which says Bloody Mary. She's a limited edition of 30, which is exciting. Here is her COA. I got number six out of 30. Now for the Moonlight Madness horses, if you get number 13, they come with a super cool special effect, but I got number six. So, and I don't really know what her special effect is. So I can't even inform y'all. Breathing hard and covered with blood and dirt from her frantic digging. The mare looked toward the old stable, thinking of her family. They had buried her, forgotten her. She would forget them too. She trotted away into the moonlit forest without, okay, this is like really sad. Without so much as a backward, okay, her like art covering some of the words. Backward something. Disappearing into the shadow dappled landscape. I'm gonna go with that's the word. I don't know what the other one is. There are nights though when the moonlight mist pours in thick waves off the stream and the shadows beneath the trees part around a still shallow pool. The young mare's face appears reflected in the water and a pale figure can be seen walking the path from the old barn. Her skin scarred and her neck stained with blood. Oh. What happened to her? As she looks warily around the property with one good eye. <gasps> Well, I don't know if her owners took care of her, but I will take care of her because look at this bean! <laughs> She's so cool! Oh my goodness, she is amazing in real life! <laughs> okay, who <laughs> says new favorite buddy? What? Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at her. Okay, so she's actually a lot darker than I thought she was going to be, which is amazing. So she is a bloody shoulder. So she's got the gorgeous deep red bay on her shoulder and neck on both sides. And they do kind of come down onto her legs. She's a gorgeous flea bitten gray and very dark too. She does get lighter to the bottom of her legs, her tail and part of her mane are very gorgeous cream. And she has a very adorable, adorable wide blaze on her face. Now she's actually really spooky because she does have some scratch marks, which I will show y'all when you get the close up, but she's got some scratch marks on her flank, on her leg, and then on her blind eye. That's right y'all. This bean actually does have a blind eye on her offside. So on her show side, she can see perfectly fine, but on her offside, she cannot, which is tragic for her, but very cool. I do not have a bunny with this her tail yet so I'm very excited about this. Y'all this mold is so cute. Y'all need a close-up of her right now so let's get to it. All right so if you watch any of my videos you definitely know what the bunny mold looks like so we're just gonna go over her details because I'm sure we all know the general shape of her. I have so many. <laughs> 
first we're gonna go over the little extras that she came with. So right here is just her little hang tag. And then we've got her COA, which I did get number six out of 30, like I said earlier. Y'all can pause and read it. You can see I was not illiterate. Some of the words are broken so much as a backward glance. Anybody got any idea? All right, here is an overview of her absolutely stunning color. Y'all, I am obsessed with this girl. We'll start off with her face. She has a very soft pink nose, which just looks so boopable. This eye is a absolutely gorgeous golden brown, and part of her bloody marking it does come up onto her face, and you can see some of those flea bites. She does have a very long mane, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. She's my first bunny with a long mane mane and then her bloody marking also comes down to her front leg and as we were on her front leg you can see some of the scratch marks that Peter Stone gave her so spooky as we work our way over here you can tell that she's got some really gorgeous shading and she's covered in flea bites and then look more scratch marks I don't know who got this girl and like what her story is behind her but I feel so bad for her she has a very long tail which is a gorgeous cream color and then here are her back legs they do get lighter at the bottom here she is head on and you can see she does have scratches on her eye her front leg her flank back there and and her other front leg. Yeah, this girl's really been through it. I feel so bad for her. But her entire chest is covered with the bloody marking, which actually just gives her a really cool look. Just look at that. Wow. Oh my goodness. Here is an overview of her offside. Now the offside is where she has her blind eye, so we will get a look at that in a second. But to go along with the long mane, she does have this very long, super adorable forelock, which actually does lift up, so she would probably be able to wear halters. Here is a look at her blind eye. Now you can tell that it does have some scratch marks over it. It has a scratch mark through it, and it is very milky blue, so that does give the blind effect for her. Her bloody marking is much more visible on this side since her mane only falls on the one side except for this tiny little piece which is such a nice detail. She has more scratch marks, lighter feet, and just some really absolutely stunning shading. She has scratch marks on her flank over here too but they're a little bit lower. And then here's a look at that tail and her back legs. And it's not a full overview if you don't get that booty shot. I am literally obsessed with her and I'm so glad that I was able to get her. She did stay on the website for a little bit longer than I thought she was going to, but hey, I still managed to snatch her really fast, so shout out to me. All right, hopefully you enjoyed your close up of Bloody Mary. Now she is going to need a new name. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to name her. I will need to look up some characters and figure that one out, but y'all. <laughs> She is absolutely amazing and the fact that Peter Stone brought this girl to life and made her so spooky I love him in my madness <laughs> All right y'all so that's actually been the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed and if you did please remember to slap that like button as hard as you possibly can Show this YouTube video and my new beat a little bit of loaf also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore briars. I don't post on there daily. That's okay. I am very active on those, so if you shoot me a message on there, I will respond as quickly as I possibly can. And I do post on my story every day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload because Castles and Cobbs episode 5 will be coming out in December. And other than that, y'all, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye! No, not much scares me, honestly, you know? I mean, like, maybe I, I'm scared of Appaloosas <laughs> and spiders. <laughs> I mean, but, like, who is in snakes <laughs> and clowns? <laughs> but, like, no, nah, I don't get jump scared easily. Excuse me. Yes, sir!